Good afternoon. It's not loud enough. Good afternoon. Hey. Gus has us live on TV, so I guess we should get started. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, before we get started, I want to um, thank some distinguished guests for joining us. Councilwoman Stephanie Morgan. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Councilman David Pickett. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and go Gators. Go Gators. Yeah. <laughs> and my boss, City Manager Russ Blackburn. Thank you, sir. Also joining us is David LaFont from uh, the Indian River State College Police Academy. Thank you, sir, for coming down. <laughs> Dylan, are you ready? I'm ready, sir. Join me, please. <laughs> Dylan Arena is joined today by his mom, Donna, his dad, Robert, Joanna Square, and Jean and Pat Arena, and Bob Sabatino. Dylan was born in Port St. Lucie and lived here for over 20 years. He also has a sister, Shannon. Dylan is one class short of his Bachelor of Science degree in criminal justice. But he promised me he would get that immediately. Absolutely. And that would be at the University of Central Florida. He also has an associate's degree in criminal justice from Indian River State College. And he completed the Basic Law Enforcement Academy at Indian River State College, class number 167, in July of 2022. Dylan started his professional career as a cashier with Publix from 2015 through to July of 2021, resigning that position to start the Police Academy. While he worked at Publix, he held a cadet position with the St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office, working in that role until he went to the Academy. Dylan worked at the Port St. Lucie Police Department as a police cadet while he was attending the academy and now joins us to be a police officer. Madam Clerk. <laughs> it's tough going first. <laughs> and Dylan has asked that his mom, Donna, pin his badge. Matthew. Matthew Gilbert is joined today by his mother, Patricia. Matthew was born December 12th in Loxahatchee, Florida to his parents, Patricia and John. Matthew has a Bachelor of Arts degree in criminal justice from FAU, graduating summa cum laude. See, I told you that'd get a rise. <laughs> He completed the Basic Law Enforcement Academy at Palm Beach State College in June of 2022. He started his professional career working in the, in the customer service industry, and he took a job as a technician with Joe Taylor Restoration. Matthew resigned from that position to become a police officer with the Port St. Lucie Police Department. Madam Clerk. Florida to help you 
ask me to pin his badge. So. <laughs> <It's a little laughs> <blood. laughs> Stephen? <laughs> See, I told you guys it would be uh, fun, right? Stephen Harley Kravitz is joined today by his mother, Cynthia. Stephen was born in, on January 31st in Morris County, New Jersey, to his parents, Cynthia and Jerry, and he has one sister, Mary. Stephen and his family moved to Florida in 2001. He received his Associate of Arts degree in 2014 from Indian River State College and completed Basic Law Enforcement Academy at Indian River State College, class number 167, in July of 2022. Stephen began his professional career as a sales associate and worked on the CAP team at Walmart from 2014 until 2022. He was then hired as a police cadet by us and is now joining us today to be a police officer. Madam Clerk. Do solemnly swear that you will support, protect, and defend the Constitution and government of the United States in the state of Florida, that you will bear true faith, loyalty, and allegiance to the same, and that you are entitled to hold office under the Constitution and laws of the state of Florida, and that you will faithfully perform all the duties of a police officer for the city of Fort St. Lucie, Florida, so help you God. I do. And he has asked that his mom, Cynthia, pin his badge. Dominic. Dominic is joined today by his parents, Angel and Travers, and brother Eric, uh, Lee Jacobs, and Grandpa David Jacobs. Dominic was born in Broward County, Florida on January 19th. He completed the Basic Law Enforcement Academy at Indian River State College, number, class number 167, in July of 2022. Dominic was a coach at Saints of Florida for approximately one year, resigning that position to finish school. In May of 2021, Dominic was hired at Jay's Floors and More as a freight handler, but resigned that position to focus on the police academy. Additionally, Dominic was hired as a police cadet with Port St. Lucie Police Department in May of 2022 and joins us today to become a police officer. Madam Clerk. And Dominic has requested Grandpa David to pin his badge. Robert, yes, 
You ready? I am. All right. Robert is joined today by his fiance Bronte and his cousins Sean and Paige Melton. Robert was born in West Palm Beach, Florida on August the 11th to his parents Stephen and Gia and has two brothers, Jacob and Joshua. He completed the Basic Law Enforcement Academy at Palm Beach State College in June of 2022. Robert started his pro professional career in the restaurant industry working in the field for approximately eight years. Additionally, he worked at Journey and Associates as an armed security guard, resigning that position to focus on the police academy. He also worked with an organi organization called First Serve, who worked with the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office Police Athletic League. Madam Clerk. And Robert has requested his fiance to pin his badge. So the clerk administered the oath of office. At Port St. Lucie Police Department, we have a long history that started with Chief John Skinner of having all of our new hires, and in addition to um, people who are promoted, take the oath of honor. And uh, the oath of honor comes from the International Association of Chiefs of Police. And the, and the thought process here is, um, at a time like this when we're swearing in a new officer or there's another opportunity to celebrate in someone's career that we pause and we remember why we do this, what those badges that they just got mean, and, and focus on what's important about this profession. And we have seen over the last couple of years, and, and I've been saying we've seen over the last couple of years for the last 10 years that I've been doing this, um, incidents where police officers' careers ended prematurely, and it wasn't by the hands of a bad guy, but it was by their judgment or the judgment of their fellow officers. So uh, this is an opportunity for all sworn personnel to join along and uh, reaffirm why we do this. So if you would all join me, please. Raise your right hands. On my honor, I will never betray my badge, my integrity, my character, or the public trust. I will always have the courage to hold myself and others accountable for our actions. I will always uphold the Constitution, my community, and the agency I serve. I will. I will. All right, thank you, gentlemen. Welcome aboard. <laughs> got to, you know, usually I say you got to go to work tomorrow, but you guys have already been working. So, uh, but uh, um, he's five outstanding candidates and you're gonna make fine police officers for the city and you guys are getting to work in law enforcement in the finest community in the state of Florida. So, uh, um, Mr. Blackburn, I brought extras. So if there's anybody in the crowd that wants to join us. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's going to be a lot of growth in your careers, gentlemen, and the uh, city is booming again, and uh, good luck to you. All right. Thank you all for joining us. We're going to do some paperwork, and then the families are welcome to come up and, and use the backdrop to get some family photos. Avi's shaking his head up and down. He can't wait to do it, <laughs> and uh, we'll make sure you get those pictures. So, uh, gentlemen.
come over and do the paperwork. 